This is your weekly moment of growth. Jim Rohn says, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You know, one of the questions that comes up a lot for me is that people ask me all the time, like, how do you build such strong relationships? What are you doing in order to grow relationships with these people that you're interviewing and then really cultivate them so you're adding value and they're adding value for you? So I wanted to share a couple tips with you today on how you're able to grow strong relationships. This Now, look, this doesn't mean only use this on people that you admire and you want to go spend time with them. Use this with the people around you now because relationships are the most important thing we have in our life. There was a time in my life where I was the least interesting man in the room. And then I made a massive shift and I became the most interested person in the room. And I started to understand that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And so the first thing you want to do is truly care about the individuals that you're interacting with. Be present. Be mindful. Give them your time. Make eye contact. Listen to what they're saying to you. And I mean truly listen. Don't just be hearing them and waiting to speak. That's something that I was totally guilty of for the longest time in my life. I'd wait for somebody to get through and then I'd start talking and I didn't listen to a word they said. Are you guilty of that as well? Because I know a lot of us are. But the thing is, if you truly listen with intention and you hear what they're saying to you and you dive a little bit deeper and start to understand why are they saying this to me? What do they want from me in exchange of this conversation? And maybe it is just to listen. Maybe it's for feedback. Maybe they're trying to tell you something deeper. So truly listen on a deeper level when people are talking to you and begin to build that connection. The second thing I really started to do was I began to give unconditionally. I didn't expect anything in return. You know, people can smell a fraud from a mile away. You know when that person's approaching you, doing something nice or trying to give to you, and they want something in return. They're expecting something in return. You know that. So find a way to give unconditionally that doesn't harm you, that adds value, and how you can truly connect with these individuals. You know, I'll give a a real life example for me, right? And so, I connect people with other people, whether that's from a business standpoint, whether that's from, uh, I believe they're going to be friends standpoint, I'm a connector. And so that's what I give unconditionally to other people. And that tends to help build relationships for me. So what is it that you can give unconditionally? Ask yourself that and make sure you're not expecting anything in return. And the last thing, and probably the most important thing, and sometimes the hardest thing to do when trying to build relationships is be unapologetically yourself. Be authentic. Be real. Be vulnerable. Be willing to give of yourself and your emotions to people that you're connecting with. When you're trying to be somebody else, people see right through that. And even if you are being somebody else and you finally connect with somebody, do you really want that relationship? That person doesn't want to be friends with not the real you. I really believe that if you give off the energy that you are supposed to be giving to the world about who you are, you will attract the people you are supposed to attract and you will repel the people you are supposed to repel and you will really begin to build these relationships. When I decided to not apologize for being a little weird, for being a little out there, for being myself, that's when my relationships grew. So I want you guys to go out there and I want you to ask questions, dive deeper, truly care and understand and listen with intention with these individuals you're trying to connect with. Two, again, remember, give unconditionally. Just give and give and give. Give of yourself. Give them what they're looking for. And of course, the most important one, be unapologetically yourself. And I promise you, if you can wrap your head around these three simple steps, You're going to build the relationships that you really, really want to build. I hope that there were a couple good takeaways for you guys in this week's moment of growth. I will see you next week.